don't do that kind of stuff at the Ritz. I am yeah. perfectly safe. Yeah. I'm at the Super 8. Yeah. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Uh, check in. Rave, you're good? Doing good. Thanks. All right. Anything fun, Greg? What's going uh, on with you? You know, that I told you guys last week that I was going to meet up with a friend that I hadn't seen in All like right. 20 oh, yeah. years. How'd that go? It went great. Yeah? I nice. Kind of there... picked up right where you left off, right? Kind of, yeah. So weird how guys can do like that. Catching up over the past 20 years, lots yeah. of stuff, lots of reminiscing. How'd the gay thing turn out? <laughs> Because you were you were uh, married yeah. to a woman the last time you saw him. That's yeah. true. That's true. You know what? Luckily, that was barely mentioned. Really? It, that would have been my. So you're gay now, huh? <laughs> I mean, especially well, he, as a friend, uh, like two uh, friends yeah. getting together. I, yeah, I would. I mean, you would have been yeah. coming in hot. No, yeah. He, oh yeah. He knew uh, about all that stuff. Um, yeah, there was no lack of conversation. Stayed up mega late. It was really. It went really great. That's good. Yeah. You were worried about that. I was. I get so I get nervous about this <laughs> about everything. Yeah. Things. Yeah. Things. Yeah. About literally everything. Greg's almost as bad. I mean, I, I'm bad. Mm-hmm. You know, when you get in your head about stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Greg's really bad. He's right there with you. Really bad. Just thought like one A the, and one B. What if the conversation doesn't go well? What if he's bored? Well, you know. Right. But no, went great. Kind of how I feel when people are in studio. We have an in studio guest. Yeah. Are they having fun? Yeah. Will they want to come back? God, they're they're probably hating uh-huh. this. They're Is never going to want to come back. Stupid. Yep. This right. Why terrible. did we come here? Yeah. <laughs> kind it's, of it's, time. it's mental terrorism, isn't it, Greg? Uh, pretty much. Sorry for caring, everybody. I- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that, that we care. And that's why my least favorite advice is don't worry. Like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, I would but you love gotta, to. But would, you, you got to you got to tell yeah. yourself. I would love to not. I, you know, my big thing uh, that I'm trying to remember, besides like control what you can control. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I'm trying to remember always, like, if this is not going to matter in five years, right? Don't waste five minutes. Caring don't waste more it. than five minutes worrying about it. True. I try to think. Yeah. Will this matter in five years? Right. Or five seconds? <laughs> or five <laughs> seconds? Yeah. Five days from now. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad it went well. Thank you. Yeah, it was a good weekend. Yeah. Uh, Menace. I'm good. I oh, I have a fun question I want to ask Greg, and this is for Greg. I only want him to respond. And oh. the reason I'm bringing it up is because uh, my brother-in-law, he's like the baby of of the family, so people like tend to just solve problems for him, right? Yeah. So I was out, and uh, we were at a hotel, and he had to do something for work, and he's handling like huge big audio files because he works in radio as well. Okay. And he had to turn it around real quick and he had to send it back to the radio station. But the internet at the hotel is absolutely awful, right? Right. Is it one of those where there's two tiers? No, it was just... It just was bad. just just bad internet. Because I'm, I'm wondering, do you th- do you know anything about this menace? You know, like you go to a hotel. Oh, and it said high speed internet. Yeah, they'll give you the internet. there's the the, yeah. the regular free one uh-huh. that everybody has access to. Right, but then yeah. they'll charge you. But then there's the other the, one, which is the, the high speed, speed like internet. for streaming and stuff. And is I there tend, really a difference? And I tend I've done the like the higher speed thing, and I didn't really see a difference in it. Because you were all. able to stream with the regular one, right? Yeah, it's it's fine. I always thought that might be a bogus, yeah, mm, like a yeah. like yeah. a scam. I don't know, but uh, again, don't say anything out loud. I want to ask Greg this question. So okay. I, I won't know. Instead of me just solving the problem for him, because I know a ma- automatically what I would do in that situation. Okay, uh-huh. I go okay. I go think real hard. You have to get to these. You got to get these files to the radio station. The internet is terrible right. at the hotel you're staying at. What do you do? Greg, what would you do in that situation? Let's say you had uh, some audio that you had to get to the Woody show. What are you going to do? What's the first thing you're going to do? Honestly, the, th- Curse. the the first thing that comes to mind <laughs> cry. And it's cry is to maybe this is totally wrong. <laughs> yeah. Call Menace. Probably, it probably is. Yeah, if Menace can't do it, I would take the laptop and go to a different location. Okay, yes. You know, yes, like right. maybe like a Starbucks or something. Okay, yeah. Now and, Starbucks and try to get on better Wi-Fi. They, they, yes. That's like that's just the goal. at a different location. Different location. Right. Correct. That's so, what I would do. Uh he first is like, go do I go to the uh the coffee shop downstairs, which uh, is in the same, same hotel. hotel. You <laughs> the same I go, No, you have to leave. Like, go somewhere. Go somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go I, that's what he said. I uh, go, Okay, where do you go? Uh-huh. Where do you go? Where where are you gonna go? Other well, than he said Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks. Starbucks. Maybe yeah. a Starbucks. Something known for that. Like Starbucks is kind of known yeah. for having Wi Fi, right? Yeah, but it's not gonna handle the files that we need. Oh, really? So uh Long story short, he did come up with the the number one answer that I would do is you go to the Apple store because oh. they have the strongest oh. internet. Oh, okay. See, I but, didn't think about that. I wouldn't have thought of that. But we were far away from the Apple store. I go, okay, well, where, where's the other place you'd go to? Yeah. And I go, we're right across the street from a T-Mobile 
store. Okay. And I go, let's go there. And then we're able to turn around quickly. I go, but if worked. you're by uh, like a AT and T store or a Verizon store or whatever, right? That's a good that's, idea. That's, that's where you there. would go. See, these are pro tips because I, I, I yeah. wouldn't have thought of Apple Store. Me either. Really? Yeah. First thing I would have thought of, like typically, if the um, if the high speed internet wherever I'm at is not, or the internet period Wi Fi is not doing well. I'll just try to like uh, use the hotspot for my phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. get to my phone. Because if you have mm-hmm. like uh, you know the high speed, ultra wide, you know mm-hmm. whatever, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. a lot of times that's fine. But usually, like in if you're in the middle of a hotel, right. you're not gonna have. A great in that signal. case, I would have like left to go somewhere else. But I wouldn't have thought of Apple Store. I also mm-hmm. wouldn't have thought of like a cell phone store. No, yeah, maybe. it's a great place to get free internet and high speed internet. Yeah, well, yeah. you're obviously using this stuff. I mean, everybody's using internet, but for right. yeah. But Those I types of purposes. I didn't want to automatically solve the problem for him because if he's yeah. on, his, if he's by himself, yeah. people are always like solving problems for him. He's the baby of the family. I go figured it out and it worked, and then he like learned something. So well, it's cool. Let me ask you this about hotel Wi-Fi. When you go onto it, it says, "Warning: This is not a secure connection." Right? Or Correct. Like something along those yeah. lines. Should that concern you? No. Like if you're looking at your me. banking, app like or I wouldn't whatever. look at my banking stuff. Oh really? On I mean, a I non-secure, do. I won't. Because I'm paranoid about, about it. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I'm so, fine. So just uh, I'm paranoid. Really? Yeah. So no bank stuff. The guy won't do that, like at an airport. Oh, I definitely. But won't for do some that reason, to me, when I'm at a hotel, <laughs> it's different. It's secure. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, well, come on, guys. It's Marriott. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Lo- I'm locked in a room. Nobody, nobody's oh, going to scam me here. I'm at the Ritz Carlton. Okay. <laughs> they don't do that kind of stuff at the Ritz. I am yeah. perfectly safe. Yeah. I'm at the Super Eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where do you think perfectly I'm staying? Safe. Yeah. Where's Tom Bodette? Did he leave the light on for me? No. That I'm not worried about anybody stealing my crap. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. So that's going on. It was fun, like you know, learning experience together oh well that's good and now well, i think that's a really good <laughs> that, that's I, um, a pro tip that's a yeah. hot tip yeah. would, i would have never these files are like 500 megabytes plus yeah. you know you can't do that i would have never thought about that mm-hmm. it's a lot yeah. of megabytes. sammy you're all good i'm good Just yeah checking in on everybody this morning making sure everybody's yeah. uh cool yeah calm collected ready to get into yeah. it how about um, yourself woody are oh you that's good? a that's a conversation for a different day oh okay. oh <laughs> no i'm <laughs> i was talking to a friend of mine and my, my okay so my buddy joey um, and he, he put it so succinctly and I'm like, wow, that really, I mean, it really just, um, it hit me that, oh my God, I think that is my, my issue. Where the hell is my text? Oh, here it is. Okay. Cause he, you know, he's struggled a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and probably a couple of years ago and he was really, really bad and he considered taking his own life. Oh, geez. It was, I mean, really, really bad. Was on a lot of medication. The medications were messing him up. Mm-hmm. The whole thing. And he's doing great now. Good. And he's off the medications. He's happier than I think he's ever been, oh, wow. um, which is great. Yeah. And so I, I check in with him on a, on a regular basis, and you know, friend talk mm-hmm. about different things. And um, and I said, hey, everything good? I said, because he's he's been with the same girl. For a while now, years, really? which yeah. is very unusual for Joe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Joey's. I don't think he's ever had a girlfriend more than like a couple months. He's one of those guys who just kind of moves on and right. uh, afraid of commitment or whatever. He goes, uh, yeah, he goes great. He goes, but I'm never really completely happy. But I'm not fat or depressed, which is great because <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's lost like fifty some pounds. Whoa, good. you know, nice. so he's, he's doing really well with that. Um, and that's the thing, man. It's like. I wonder what complete happiness feels like, mm-hmm. you know, because I feel like I'm always chasing something. And so I get like in my talk about Greg getting in his head a lot. Yep. Mm. And so that's, that's been me a lot here more recently. Um, so I'm just, you know, it's, it's, it's just the, it's, it's the typical struggle that, uh, that I have mm-hmm. constantly self-loathing, uh, doubt, um, getting, you know, getting aggravated at others. Sure. Because, you know, I'm the one that's running kind of the business of the show. Um, like, the business of the Woody show runs through me. And so I'm dealing with a bunch of other people who I feel, um, you know, I, th- I, f- I feel like we spin our wheels a lot on, mm-hmm. on some stuff. And so I kind of wonder, like, why are we doing – if you if you on social media, I, I posted something. And I was like, I'm kind of wondering why, you know, you get to a point where you're, you're wondering why you we're working so hard on something – for it to be, I, I forget yeah. exactly what I said. Like, what's the payoff? Yeah, and so, uh, and so that's that's what I was I was feeling. Yeah, sometimes you got to wonder why you're doing so much when it's getting you nowhere. 
And this applies to many areas of my life right now. And I think it's time to make some changes. So, you know, that, that's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, you got to know when to call it. Right. Yeah. So that, that, I think that's a good thing, but that's like the, that's, that's the conversation in my head all the time. Mm. So it's really annoying. Sounds yeah. annoying. You know, I have so <laughs> much, like there's so much going on behind the scenes when it comes to the show. Um, and I, I just, I'm, I'm just like, I'm overwhelmed. I guess I'm overwhelmed mm. and I'm, it's other people are pissing me off and it's driving me nuts. And then, you know, I'm very much an all or nothing guy. Right. So that's fun. Yeah, but otherwise, time. I mean, things are great. People are like, oh, well, great. I guess he's getting divorced finally. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. Everything's fine. A lot of divorce chat. Yeah, finally. Yeah. And oh, yeah. And I did. I did turn the comments off on the uh, on the post because people were getting wild and. I didn't want to start like conspiracy. Uh, I, I, I don't want the conspiracy theory stuff to start about like, oh, the Woody show's going off the air. That's not true. We're not going off the air. Then it, then it got into some personal attacks on some people on the show, and that's not fair. Mm. And so, you know, I'll probably just take the stupid post down. Mm. But mm. that's what uh, that was. That's what's going on. I didn't mean to be like. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Like vague? Vague. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was just like kind of a more like a good thing. Like and it would talk about like in your personal life, going through and getting rid of the people who aren't putting the effort into um, you know, your relationship, your right. friendship. If it's a one way mm -hmm. street, yeah. like that is that is part of an action plan. Like make some changes. You're putting so much into it, but you're getting nowhere. So know when to call it, like Menace yeah. said. Professionally. Mm -hmm. You're doing this or whatever. Your company doesn't see it or doesn't appreciate it. Know when to call mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Know when to say, all right, fine. All right. On, and on and, to the next one. Right. And uh and move on. But yeah. um anyway. So not all bad. Not all bad. Just uh it occupies a lot of time in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, Ooh. right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh hey Woody, long time listener, long time self loather. Oh. Mm. oh I've learned okay. to strive for being content. I think happiness is only a temporary state of mind that unfortunately we can have uh we can't have without being somewhat uncomfortable or unhappy. Maybe. Yeah. That's a bummer. Well, they also say happiness is a choice. Yeah, or maybe right. you have True this idea, you know. You know, Greg and I had a conversation at one point about like you're constantly striving for something that is completely unrealistic. Yeah. And so once you come to terms with that, maybe you can find like in other words, like maybe what your idea of happiness is something that doesn't really exist. Yeah, yeah, like what your you idea can't. of of happiness is, maybe that is not a real thing. Right. Maybe that's just like this uh, utopia kind of unrealistic expectation. Right. And so maybe that is the thing. Maybe maybe you should strive for content. Content. I mean that make that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. But um, thank you for everybody. Who, I mean, there were some people who were texting over like, "Hey, what the hell did that mean?" Yeah. Um. So that's what that means. Just always these uh, stupid things going on. Yeah. Yep. I, I, damn, I didn't mean to bum everybody out. Did I bum everybody out? No. I didn't mean to. Just now? <laughs> yeah, with all that, you know, all that I'm stuff. I'm fine. No, but it's, it's, not, it's not not vague. It's still somewhat It's still vague. mega it's still vague. vague. It's still vague. Without getting into all the little boring details. Right. Oh. Right. Right? But, I mean, it's, no. it's still... Uh, Hella vague. Vague. Huh. Okay. No. I mean, all right, because it, right. it's just kind of out of nowhere is all. Oh, maybe for you guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, not over here. That's for sure. <laughs> this is more like a build up and ready to I, explode kind of thing. I, I uh. think I, I don't know. I guess it's not vague to me because I, I think I know what's yeah what you're talking about. So right, like I understand. Yeah, without getting I, into I the nitty gritty saying. details and everything. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, okay. just work stuff and then mm -hmm. some, you know, non work yeah. stuff. Yeah. And it just all builds up and, you know, My, how we spin about things, Greg. Oh, yeah. Same same deal. Right. I, I, I don't know. As crazy as this sounds. I think my idea of how I've, like, found happiness over the, over the years because this job could be, like, I don't know. I, it, it's like a job that doesn't love you back. I felt, I feel like, did I do the best job I, I could do? Right. Every day. And if that, you know, people don't feel that way, then okay. Then whatever. I because that's I, one I of those did, things you I can't the, control. I did yeah. the best thing that I could do. Yep. Big house, small house, a lot of money, no money. Then you know whatever. At yep. the end of the day, I'll be fine. I don't care. Met us with some really good nuggets. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Apple you know, store. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Apple store. Yeah. Wi the uh, the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And if you've done your best job, 
Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. So if you did your best job yep. and it didn't pay off, then oh well. Tech says, I love when you guys uh, are real and talk about life challenges. It gives me hope. Mm. Keep moving forward. All of you are doing an awesome job on the airwaves. Thank you, Eve. Aww, Thank Eve. you. Eve. Uh, this one says, in regards to happiness, I think about a quote I have on my desk and I read it often. Something along the lines of happiness can be found in the process of finding it. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I like that. Wow. Like it's okay. the journey. Yeah. And uh, how about this one? Uh, this is Woody's in the hospital gown. I don't want to talk about it. Facebook post. <laughs> 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 Which I hate. That was a lot uh -huh. of the comments over Which the Which I weekend. hate. Yeah. Right. yeah. And, you know, I, I, you know, that's the thing. It's like you share, but like you don't want to get in because I, I figure, like, yeah, nobody really cares about all the nitty gritty details and stuff that doesn't even necessarily apply to them. But mm -hmm. I, don't I don't think know, they man. would even understand. No, probably not. Probably not. Uh, well, it looks uh, like we're really hip and cool, Greg. I hope so. In keeping everybody updated on the lash, uh, latest fashion rules, ankle socks and no-show socks are no longer cool. Oh, oh they're well, so yeah. out. Those that are for screwed. old people. That's yeah. all Greg wears. The next time uh, you're out, you're going to see a ton of millennials wearing ankle socks, but no one under the th un under the age of 30 is wearing those. <laughs> Gen Z prefers crew socks. Which um, go up, uh, up further about mid-calf. Yeah, oh my no, God. Not, those, not to the knee. Not quite knee. Those are cool again. No, crew socks. Crew I wear socks. crew socks. Yeah, I don't like yeah. seeing yeah. socks. Because what do you went for no-show socks there for a minute? For a minute, yeah. Yeah, I go to and not even ankle, okay. like below the ankle. Yeah, th them's are crews. I what? also am in my uh, crew socks because I'm hip and cool. Yeah, yeah see? Cool. Nailing now, it, Sammy. I, I, have, I have not changed, you know, socks, style uh -huh. of socks. Mm -hmm. I just waited out the trend. Yeah. See, <laughs> because yeah. Yeah. for the longest time, I was told those are dad socks. Oh, sure. And people, oh, those are dad sock, Woody. Uh, dad socks, Woody. Yeah, and and I uh, I hung through it. Right. I still have these socks. I do have mm -hmm. some no shows because mm -hmm. those do make yeah. more sense when you're wearing like, you know, shorts and. Yeah, I don't want. It goes okay. back to yeah. The the higher the sock, the downer the foo. Oh, is that oh. what it is? Yeah. The higher the I'm writing that down. Yeah. From foo. The higher the sock, the downer <laughs> the, the foo. foo. Should get that embroidered Real on your sock. <laughs> Some food's gone wild. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, again, so, I mean, 18 months ago, again, that was dad socks. And then even the ones that, uh, they were like quarter crew. Have you seen those? Quarter crew? Quarter crew. So uh -uh. They're, they're the shape of a crew style sock. So like tube socks are just one long. Right, right. one long right. sock. Sock. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. like the chili peppers would wear on their dongs. Yeah. Right. Back in the day. Those are tube mm -hmm. socks. Then the crew are the ones that have like the ankle like they're they're mm -hmm. shaped for the so foot. Yeah. For, they're shaped for the foot. Those are crew socks, but those would go up like mid calf. Then when people started doing the whole like you know pushing them down to wear with shorts, mm -hmm. then the gold toe people and the fruit of the loom people came out, and they had the little the little short crews. Yeah. So it was basically like a turtleneck of the of the top of the sock, the crew that would go up your uh, your calf there, mm -hmm. but only went about as high as your ankle. They weren't no show. Right, then right. no shows became all the rage. Yeah, that's what I like. And now we're back to mid calf crew. Yep. Right. Damn. Or but even those ones, those little tiny like uh, those quarter crews, mm -hmm. those are dad socks. Yeah. They're <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> Say yeah, I'm a dad. You gotta go high socks. Want to be down? I uh, would. I would wear no socks, but my shoes reek. If I, I, wore I don't. I don't like the feeling of no socks. I love it, dude. In shoes, they like yeah, reek when I, I take hate them off. <laughs> You would hate this. You know what happened to me the other day? <laughs> so I was taking a flight and I forgot to pack socks, right? Uh -huh. And so on my flight home the next morning, I was like, oh, my socks are dirty. I don't have any more socks. I'll just wear my uh, my shoes without socks. And then I go to check my uh, my ticket and I didn't have a pre-check. So I had to go through regular oh, line. And take the shoes and off. And I had to go barefoot uh, to uh, the uh, airport. Oh, yeah. no. And uh. I was telling the TSA people, I'm like, I think I made a bad decision not wearing socks. How, how dirty were your socks? So you couldn't just like re-wear them for like a flight home? For like one Because I already wore them because I didn't have socks. I yeah. already wore them for like two days. Uh, okay. So they're, they're, I don't know. You've, you had that feeling when you I'd have I'd still have them on for a third day. Yeah. I didn't even. Th if I, didn't I was even stuck th rather no, than go be, with no socks. To be honest, I didn't even think about it. It felt yeah. nicer not having a sock, wearing the shoe. Mm -hmm. And then, but then I realized. Yeah, until you got like, the TSA. Then I got TSA. I'm like, oh, my pre check is not on my ticket. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have probably so wash them in the off. sink and let them oh. dry overnight. I Probably go I'm, through all that hassle. Yeah. Just not, wear the dirty and, and socks. It's not a hassle. It wouldn't dry time. I was straight up barefoot in the airport. Gross. Menace was talking about how um, 
thanks to a dirty sock situation, <laughs> he ended up uh, going no socks with his shoes to the airport. <laughs> Somehow didn't have a TSA pre-check on his yeah, reservation. So how did, it, how'd you manage that? So what happens, I don't know, it happens to me with, that's my only complaint about Spirit Airlines. When I do... Right, they don't hold that information in your account. Yeah, when you go to check in, like you do it when you sign up, which yeah. makes no sense. Well, you, you do it when all, you make the reservation, right? You, yeah, but you then you put when, your TSA pre-check number in there. But when you go to check in, you're supposed to re-put the number in. I don't know why, and I did do that. You are? Yeah. Are it you checking hold... in at the airport? No, no, online. I've never had to do that twice. Mm-mm. Yeah, I do it when I make the reservation. I've never had a problem. This right. has happened to me probably like three times with that. Hmm. Really? Where I put in all the information, but it doesn't hold the the pre-check info. Well, anyway, so we had to go through TSA pre-check, the regular line, yeah, yeah. like a plea. With the oh. please. Wow. <laughs> barefoot. Barefoot, because I had to take yeah, my shoes disgusting. off. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Well, another foot-related crime news. Police in Johnstown, Pennsylvania got a call about a house that had been burglarized. And when they were checking out the scene, there at the crime scene, they noticed that the kitchen floor was covered in Cajun seasoning. Okay. And there were some footprints through it. Okay. All right. During the search, the victim uh, received a suspicious call from a guy named Quasar Stevens. Oh, cool. What a name. That's pretty awesome. So on a hunch, the cops decided to make a house call. When they got to his place, they saw footprints outside, oh. which matched the ones found in the Cajun seasoning. Okay. So Quasar arrested, charged with felony burglary, misdemeanor disorderly conduct, along with some uh, drug-related charges. Huh. <laughs> Number one, why is there Cajun seasoning right. all over yeah. the floor? Why? Great question. What a waste. Number two, you would think like, uh, I don't know. It's like those people that get busted when the cops just follow the snow prints. Right. right. Yep, yep. Footprints <laughs> in the snow. Yeah. Busted. Right back to the crime scene. None of it rubbed off. That's so weird. They do yeah. say, I watched a show one time that was basically telling you how to get away with murder. And they say to throw away your shoes and put on brand new ones because they can mm, trace yeah. even the soil of the area that you were in through your oh, shoes. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, since we're Good talking tip. about Cajun yeah. seasoning, can I shout out some that I love? Sure. Weed Dats is so I've heard good. Of that. Yeah, yeah. Just go to we d a t s dot com. We Dats, not Weed sponsor, Dats, but yeah, really I've heard good of that. seasoning. But they should be. Yeah, oh, they have biscuit mix too. I think That's I have so some good. Weed Dats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might at the Hoose. Really? So good. Yeah, really good. I love all that Cajun seasoning yeah, stuff. Yeah, me though. too. All right, more Woody shows next. <laughs>